What's up gamers? Welcome to today's video guys. In today's tip, we're going to be talking about how to throw a bullet pass in Madden 25. It will also translate into Madden 15. Guys, we like to do this when we're wanting to face tight man coverage. The bullet pass is essential to fit in those tight windows. Okay, so what we're going to do to throw a bullet pass is whatever receiver we're throwing to, we're going to want to hold the button down, all the way down, and then you're going to want to angle your trajectory with the left analog stick. Here in this situation, we're going to be focusing on Steve Smith on that corner uh, little C route, and basically what we're going to be doing is as soon as he cuts to the outside, we're going to use a pass lead by holding that left uh, analog stick at about four o'clock. At about four o'clock, we're going to hold that left analog stick. We're going to hold, circle down. It's going to initiate that bullet pass. So here, real quick, I want to show you a, an example of when I do not do that and show you that, and then we're going to compare it to the one where I do do the bullet pass. So here, I'm just sitting back and I just kind of throw it, and you see I get intercepted. Now, real quick, let's take a look at how slow that developed and where he put the ball. Okay, so we see here. Uh, we're just going to kind of watch this area of space, but basically we're going to watch Cam Newton uh, as he drops back, throws it, and you see how, first and foremost, look at where I'm throwing it. As soon I throw it at the, I throw it at the right time, but you see how it's kind of up? It's, it's, it's up over the receiver's head. It's not down in a way like I suggested, and it's taking a long time to develop. He is already on the sideline before he's actually ever animating for the catch. That's essential. In man-to-man -man coverage, there's very small windows that you can only fit these in. Um, and so you have to be using the bullet pass uh, in certain specific passing situations. This route is one of those situations. So now I want to show you one where I use the passing trajectory that I suggested by holding circle down and holding the left analog stick at about 4 o'clock. And there you see a lot more separation and a lot more uh, fluidity in the past. Let's take one quick look in instant replay, and we'll bring it over to the same kind of uh, basic front here. We see there's the uh, coverage. They play off. They play off. You see how it's a lot lower of a pass. I don't have to jump for it, and it's thrown away from the defender, so the defender doesn't even have a play. The last pass, guys, if you remember, it was thrown about right in here. This pass was thrown about right in here. That's about a seven yard difference and it's a difference between a first down and an interception. Guys, you need to be using bullet passes a lot and you need to learn when to use them, but most importantly, you need to learn how to use a bullet pass to beat man-to-man -man defense.